Hey guys, this is Nurul Huda and I am an educator at an online learning app that is Unacademy. There also I am posting videos which are going to be very helpful for you for your CSI net preparation. So if you are enjoying my videos, if you are liking my teaching skills on YouTube, then I hope you are you will also like my videos on Unacademy as well. So follow me over there so that you don't miss out anything which I am posting there for your preparation of CSI net. So how you have to do this is just download this Unacademy learning app from the app store and you have to search for my name that is Nurul Huda in the search bar and you will get a screen like this which is shown in your on your screen right now and you just have to click on this follow button to follow me over there all right and if you follow me whenever i will upload a new video or anything you will get notification for that secondly you can also go over there go to my profile directly from the uh, link given in the description so that's all for this let's continue with the video hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so this video is going to be about sigma tropic reaction and this is one of the part of your pericyclic reactions so I thought of making this video because I have already completed other parts of this uh, pericyclic reaction that is cycloaddition reaction and um, your uh, electrocyclic reaction. So for those they are already completed and uh, like uh, this was only left out that is sigma tropic reactions. So that's why I am today I am going to make this video. Now in this video I'll be it, uh, I'll be talking about the reaction the sigma tropic reaction then uh, what are the uh, like the stereochemistry of the reaction. What are the type of the reaction in this video are also going to get about uh, your in reaction as well the group transfer i'm not going to include because the size of the video will be too long if i include that topic also so group uh, group transfer i'm just leaving uh, for now because uh, like i'll make it for afterwards okay so uh, and after this like after understanding the concept we'll be solving questions which have been asked in the uh, previous csi net exam all right now before starting this video i would like uh, i will request you all that uh, if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe it and so that uh, whenever i upload a video you will get notification for that and uh, if you will subscribe it i'll be also get motivated that uh, and i'll also bring new and good stuff for you okay so now let's start with the topic so these are generally a unimolecular isomerization and it involves movement of sigma bond from one position to other position okay so what happens here the sigma bond moves from one position to other in a pi conjugated system and they are unimolecular that is everything will happen inside a, inside same molecule all right now they are represented as like in a square bracket you will uh, you will represent it as i j where i and j are two digits so you will represent it in a num number way like you either it can be one three or three three something like that so i and j are your uh, like digits and they are they represent the position of your sigma bond the new position of your sigma bond okay so it's written wrong here it's not it should not be the old so the uh, i and j are the new position of your sigma bond now how, how you have to see it see in this example if you will see you have a pi conjugated system that is ch2 you have a like allylic system and this m is your migrating group okay now this migrating uh, migrating group how it will move it will move from this position to this position uh, from uh, here to this position and this pi bond will shift over here all right now if i number the positions like one two and three so now the uh, sigma bond this was the sigma bond now it earlier it was a between one uh, between this first carbon and this migrating group so i have just numbered it at, as one so it was between one and one but now it has shifted from here to here now the uh, now the bond the sigma bond is between like this will be one only so the bond has been formed between one and three so that's why it is called one three sigma tropic shift okay so what I, what is this number symbolizes it symbolizes the new position of your uh, sigma bond similarly if i take a example if i take one more example i have this system uh, let's say i have this system okay so i have this system like this and if i if it undergoes your sigma tropic rearrangement then how it will undergo so see if i this is a sigma bond and this is a pi con like this is a lilac carbon system so i'll just number it as one two and three and here also i can number it as one two and three so what will happen here this bond will break and this this group will act as a migrating group uh, migrating group okay so what will happen this bond will shift over here and uh, you will be having uh, something like this so this will come here and this will come here now what you will get you will get something like this so all right so you will get something like this okay so now what you can see that earlier the bonds were between one and one 
but the new sigma bond has been formed between uh, carbon number 3 and 3 all right see it was 3 and uh, 3 so between 3 and 3 the new bonds have been formed so this reaction will be called as uh, 3 3 sigma tropic sigma tropic shift okay so like this we have to number this thing is very important the numbering the uh, identification of the position and this thing is very important because question are generally asked from this portion only all right now there are certain kind of uh, sigma tropic reaction as you can see this is one three sigma tropic reaction this is three three similarly you can have one five sigma tropic reaction where you will be having the shift of the uh, migrating group will be from one to five so it could be seen in the molecule somewhat like this i'll just draw it over here uh, so uh, you can have ch2 uh, ch double bond ch single bond ch double bond ch2 and you can have migrating group like this now it can move from one two three four five so from here to it can move from uh, to here so uh, it can move here and this will move here and this will move here so what you will get here in the product you will get ch2 double bond ch single bond ch double bond ch single bond ch2 and m so this will be the migrating group so now it has moved from position number one to five now the sigma bond uh, earlier it was between one and one and now it has been found between one and five because one two three four five so it was the fifth one so it is your example of your uh, one five sigma tropic shift so these are certain kind of your sigma tropic shifts now let's try to understand like there are some name reaction like name name certain name has been given to a uh, few type of uh, sigma tropic reaction like your cope rearrangement claisen rearrangement now let's try to understand that what these things are all right so let's talk about this that is your cope rearrangement now cope rearrangement is the basic form or the like the minimal form of your uh, sigma tropic reaction it's just a sigma tropic reaction and it has been named uh, before cope because he only observed it first so uh, first of all it exists in 15 dienes okay so you need a 15 diene for this cope rearrangement and here uh, carbon number 3 and carbon number 4 bond will break during the reaction and bond formation will take place between carbon 1 and 6 okay and the reaction is thermally allowed and they are generally 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement so these are generally your 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangements and uh, like the 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement is generally called your cope rearrangement so what uh, how the pro uh, like uh, let's take example and see so we have this compound i have already discussed about it so we have this compound and if i number it like uh, uh, if i number it according to the uh, sigma tropic rearrangement if I, I have to check that which type of sigma tropic rearrangement is so i have to just start numbering from the bond which which has been broken which is which gets break okay so this bond this sigma bond uh, this sigma bond uh, will break during the reaction so that's why i have to start numbering from here so one two and three like this and again uh, on the other side also one two and three all right now the numbering which you are seeing in the black color over here one two three four five six it numbers the uh, it is just the numbering of the number of carbon okay so it, it's nothing special about it but the uh, the numbering which you are seeing here, over here one two and three or one two and three this is to identify that which kind of symmetropic reaction you are going to get now uh, always whenever you are going to check any type of symmetropic reaction always start numbering from the sigma bond which is getting broken so start from there and number it till the place at which it is getting formed all right so this bond will break this will get formed so i have just written it over here bb means bond getting broken and bf means bond getting formed so you'll get a bond formed here bond formed here and a bond formed here so you'll get a product like this so this is basically a 3 3 sigma tropic reaction because the new position of your sigma bond is uh, between this carbon 3 and 3 so that's why it is an example of your 3 3 sigma tropic reaction so let's discuss this example of cope rearrangement and let's see how it happens so see this is your allylic system uh, this is uh, this is will be your allylic system for up to here all right and this sigma bond can be broken because this in this bond we will be having a ring strain so now if i number since this bond will break so i have to number it from like this one two and three and again i can number it from here that one two and three all right so what will happen this bond will go that side and this will get formed here and this will come here so what product i will get i will get a product of like see how many carbons uh, a, a cyclic compound will be formed and how many carbons will be there one two three four five six and seven so there will be like seven carbons so i'll just uh, form a seven carbon members ring okay so now this is somehow it will be formed 
and I'll be having double bond between like if I number it like this if I number it uh, to, in order to find out the number of the position of double bond in the ring if I number it like this one two three four five six and seven and if I number it over here also one two three four five six and seven now the double bond you can see that it has been formed between uh, five and six so five and six you will be having a double bond over here so here you are getting a double bond and again you are you will get a double bond between two and three so between two and three you will get a double bond so this will be the product what you will get after the co arrangement of this react of this uh, compound now let's talk about one more re uh, reaction we have one more example over here again you can see that uh, it can undergo co arrangement because we have this system like this so it can like this bond will get broken over here so we'll number it as one two three and one two three so basically what you have to write it is as three three sigma tropic rearrangement okay so i'm not write, writing again and again sigma tropic rearrangement and just writing what number it will correspond to now in this what you will see that this bond will come here now this is a concerted reaction what you have to do just move the the movement of the bond should be in the same direction you don't have to change the movement of the direction you can take clockwise or anti-clockwise that that is up to you but uh, the movement should be in the same direction okay so now what you will get here all right so you will get something like because this bond is now broken and you have a bond like this and between this three and three you have one bond and you will be having double bond here and double bond so this will be the product what you will get and this is also your uh, three three sigma tropic reaction so these are certain reaction for your like these were certain examples of your co prearrangement now let's talk about the next okay so the next one is your claisen co prearrangement or you can uh, generally it is called as claisen rearrangement also so in this also you need a 15 di diene system and here what you need uh, like what is the difference between claisen cope and co prearrangement is the uh, like this involvement of this oxygen over here that is your ether group so it is observed in your al allyl vinyl ether so this is your allyl ether and this is your vinyl ether so allyl vinyl ether will give you claisen co prearrangement now what will happen this is also this will be also same all things will be same similar to your uh, co prearrangement just the difference will be the involvement of this ether group okay so now the uh, bond between this c3 and c4 will break and bond between uh, this c1 and c6 will form the, just like we did in the uh, co prearrangement now what will happen if you see the example this bond is good getting broken this is forming here and this will get formed here now the, it's from the bond which is getting broken you can number it like this so it will be one two and three and it will be also one two and three so the new bonds are getting formed between three and three so, so that's why it is called three three sigma tropic rearrangement all right now uh, let's take one more example of it so we have this compound you can see over here this is also your uh, like it can also undergo your place and co prearrangement because this is also your one five diene system having a ether group like allyl vinyl ether uh, containing allyl vinyl, allyl vinyl ether group all right now this can also undergo and if i number it like one two three and like one two and three so this is also your three three sigma tropic rearrangement similar things will happen and at this place you can have chlorine or nh2 or or any of the group can be present over here all right so any of the group uh, among these so these are the examples of your uh, place and co prearrangement and your uh, co rearrangement now there is one more that is called your as a co prearrangement now in as a co prearrangement the things are same just the difference will be your uh, the earlier you saw between allyl vinyl ether now you are having allyl vinyl amine so you will be having amine group that is nh group so secondary amine will be here and the same the things will be all same you will be having three three sigma tropic rearrangement it will be formed between your uh, like the condition will be thermal condition and carbon uh, like the bond between c3 and c4 will like c3 and like it's a3 and b4 it is written because these groups are different but like between third and fourth position the bond will break and new bond bond will be formed between your um, first and sixth position all right now two degree and three degree amine gives this reaction all right so two degree and three degree amine gives this reaction and reaction is thermally allowed okay and three three sigma tropic rearrangement occurs so these were certain uh, reactions uh, re and certain rearrangements which come under your sigma tropic rearrangement and let's talk about the stereochemistry of the reaction now
now before going into the stereochemistry let's talk about the migration of the group the, here we will uh, like here we will and uh, get introduced to two terms that is uh, superficial and intrafacial migration now superficial migration the migration of the group can take place in two ways either since we have a pi conjugated system so either this migrating group can go on uh, from one side of this like uh, if it is above the plane it can go above the plane and it can uh, migrate to the other place or it can do one thing that it can go beyond the plane and if it is uh, available above the plane and it can go and it can in the product formation it will form at the below the plane so at that form it will be called intrafacial now if it is going in the same plane then it is called suprafacial and like the migrating group migrates along the top or bottom face of pi system then it is called suprafacial and if uh, it moves across the pi system that is from top uh, face to the bottom face if it moves something like this then it is called intrafacial so what will happen over here this migratory group will go and it will bind from the above okay so from one face only it is going and getting binded over here so it is was above the plane and here also it is above the plane so that's why it is suprafacial whereas in intrafacial what we will see it is above the plane but uh, in this in here it will get formed like below the plane so you will see the migrating group like here over here which which is below the plane plane so it is called intrafacial so suprafacial and intrafacial are two types of migration which can occur during your sigma tropic reaction now let's talk about the uh, stereochemistry of the reaction okay so the stereochemistry of 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement in order to find out uh, there is a way there is very simple and very important way in which you have to identify the stereochemistry of the reaction that is you have to convert the like you have one five dye in system so what you have to do you have to just form it like a uh, like a chair form now in the chair form we have six carbons here also we are having like six carbons but first and six is not uh, joined here so you don't have to join them just form it in the way the um, chair form get formed and then you have to move the bonds in the way you are getting like moving okay and in the product you will get the correct answer so see if you have this uh, reactant and if you have to check that what will be the product when the uh, reaction will take place now this will undergo 3 3 sigma tropic reaction how we came to know that because this is 1 5 diene system 1 2 3 4 and 5 so first between first and fifth carbon you are having like uh, at first and fifth carbon you are having double bond so that's why this is 1 5 diene system and uh, this bond will break so i'll just number it like this so it will be 1 2 and 3 so 1 2 and 3 now uh, we know that in the product we will be getting double bond between these two carbon now this ph group can be either cis to this or it can be trans to it so we have to find out that what will be stereochemistry of that so first of all what you have to do just uh, draw this in this uh, chair form now this ph group is a bulky group and try to make it uh, every time you have a bulky group try to uh, put it in the uh, your uh, equatorial position okay so this is the equatorial position at this carbon this bond will break like this and this will get formed and this bond will shift over here now this is our 3 3 sigma tropic reaction and if you'll see that the bond will form, get formed and if you can see over here these this bond and this bond are trans to each other okay so that means the product will be your trans product in which this ph will be here now this was quite simple and it looks like why we why we did all these things why we could not like do over here only and that also will give you trans so it will not be every time we will not get something like this see let's take the next example in this example we are having this uh, we have two ch3 group and both are cis to each other all right now if you if you draw this thing if you draw this uh, this compound in chair form we have to draw it like this one should be axial and that should be equatorial because uh, one to cis is axial equatorial now if you don't understand about these things that is uh, one to cis why it is axial equatorial and uh, one to trans this thing you have to remember actually so one to cis should be always axial equatorial and one to trans will be either equatorial equatorial or axial axial similarly uh, your one three uh, cis will be your either equatorial equatorial or axial axial all right and one three uh, trans will be your axial equatorial okay so this thing you have to keep in mind now what happens with one two that same things happens with one four these things i have already discussed while i was discussing about the conformation of uh, cyclohexane if you didn't uh, watch that video you can watch it here in the i button so you will get the link for that uh, so there i have discussed all these things okay so all right so here we are having one two cis compound we have one two cis so i have to make uh, like one group at the axial position another at the uh, other one at the equatorial position you can make any either way you can take it at uh, 
axial position and make it at equatorial position it's up to you now just do the sigma tropic rearrangement just three three sigma tropic rearrangement and the bonds will shift and what you will get you will get a double bond over here and if you can see this ch3 group comes out to be the comes out to be at uh, what uh, this comes out to be trans whereas this ch3 group comes out to be cis to this bond you have to check between this bond and this okay so this ch3 comes out to be cis to this bond whereas this ch3 comes out to be trans to this bond now the product will be this where this ch3 will be uh, one of the ch3 will be cis and other of the ch3 will be trans so in this way you have to identify the uh, stereochemistry of the product this is very important all right let's take one more example so we have this example and in this in this previous example it was your wish like if you could have done this ch3 over here and taken this ch3 on the equatorial position because both are same same now but here we are having ph and ch3 both are different groups so now remember always the bulky group should be always present on the equatorial position so that means at this place of ch3 we are having just ph okay i'm not solving it I'm just giving you the hint for this question. So you will be having pH at this place. So what will happen? This pH will be at trans position to this bond, and this CH3 will be some like like same like this only. So it will be uh, cis to it, this. So in the product here in this question, the product will be in this product you will be having pH at the trans position and this CH3 at the cis position. All right. All right. So let's take it in the either way. All right. So let's say uh, just say that we have substitution at these two places. Now what you have to do, you know that this is one five diene system. So you just number it like this. So one, two, and three. This bond will break. This will get formed, and something like this. Now just you have to draw it in the chair form and see. Uh, you have to draw the way those bonds like these compounds are. So this bond is the trans. So you have to draw trans over here. This methyl group, and again this is also trans. Okay. So you have to draw trans here. Okay. Now just form the bond, and you can see that when the bond will be formed, this methyl group is going down, and this is going this side. So this is actually the equatorial position for this methyl group, and this is also equatorial position for this methyl group. Now you can have two types of product. Like see this, just ignore this one. Okay, so this is not correct. So you like this one is also equatorial position, and this is also equatorial position, and one two equatorial equatorial is trans just now we discuss about this so one two trans is always equatorial equatorial so this will be the both of the methyl group will be trans to each other so in this way you have to identify the stereochemistry of the groups now just take this one as an example and try to solve it on your own and just try to find out that whether you are going whether you are getting this correctly or not okay so now let's move on to the next part of it Okay, so based on uh, the observation, a selection rule has been made for your sigma tropic reaction. Now, if you add the values of i and j, which you write it in the in the box, that is, sometimes you write one three sigma tropic, sometimes it's three three sigma tropic. So, if you add both of them, and if you get four n, that is, if you get a multiple of four, then it, the, those type of sigma tropic reactions are thermally allowed. And in case of thermal uh, thermally allowed, they are actually intrafacial. And sometimes the direct question can be asked that whether the reaction is intrafacial or suprafacially. So for that, this table will work. All right. Otherwise, in in order to find out the stereochemistry, I have already told you the way. Okay. So for four and pi system, uh, ther thermally allowed system, you have intrafacial migration for four and pi system. And if you have condition like uh, H nu condition, that is uh, sunlight condition, then you have. Uh, to go through the suprafacial uh, migration all right and if you have 4n plus 2 pi system and you have thermal condition then it will undergo suprafacial condition whereas h new condition it will undergo intrafacial so this table is very important it's just like a selection rule just like you have studied in your uh, electrocycling and cycloaddition reaction where you have studied about that uh, uh, con rotation and disrotation all right so if you didn't watch that video it's very important you should watch those videos as well because it will give you like lot of information about uh, pericyclic reaction and if you watch these three reactions uh, sorry if you watch these three videos your pericyclic reaction will be almost complete all right so next is your in reaction it's very simple and very important uh, and very small portion of it so i'll just quickly finish it up and then we will solve questions related to them so in this reaction what will happen an alkene with allylic hydrogen that means you need allylic hydrogen and in a compound containing multiple bond reacts like you need multiple bond as well uh, reacts in order to form a new sigma bond with migration of an in double bond in double bond means this type of compound you need in which you have you have at least carbon carbon double bond 
and a 1,5 hydrogen shift will take place. So you need a like a lilac hydrogen and what will happen? This bond, this sigma bond will shift here and this bond will combine with here and this hydrogen will get shifted to this place. Now if I number these places, so this is carbon number 2, 3, uh, 1, 2 and 3 and if I number this group as 4 and 5 because eventually they are getting attached to the ring, uh, attached to the chain. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and now the hydrogen has been shifted from carbon number 1 to position number 5. So that's why it is called 1, 5 hydrogen shift. Now again you can see the same thing is happening over here as well where you are having this alkyne uh, and here also you will be having in the uh, lilac hydrogen so this bond will shift here and this will move here and this will move like this now between a and b you will be having double bond because three bonds were there one is reduced so you are getting just two bonds and this hydrogen will get shifted to uh, attached to b so you are having one five uh, one five hydrogen shift so this is generally your in reaction and why am i discussing it because in one of the equation we are having to deal with in reaction so that's why i am discussing it so uh, the few things which you know about which should which you should know about in reaction is that if we have more than one allylic position then least substituted allylic position will be used okay so least substituted allylic position will be used if you have more than one allylic position other thing is that if you have choice between inter and intramolecular in reaction then intramolecular re in reaction will take place uh, again let's take example very simple example here also you are having this and you have in group something like this so this bond will shift this will move here and this will come like this so now what you will get you will get something like this all right so all right so you will be having and your hydrogen will get shifted away all right so this will be the product what will be formed now this was all about your in reactions and all about your uh, sigma tropic reaction now let's move on to solving questions all right, so let's solve this question which has been asked in CSR December 2017 exam and this question was for four marks and I'll tell you this question was very simple. Okay, so let's see that how is, uh, to solve this question. Now before solving this question, I would like to tell you that I'm also available on an academy uh, learning platform and if you are if you are an Unacademy user or if you are using that Unacademy platform, then you can follow me over there also and there I'm posting videos which are going to be very helpful for your CSI net exam and all those who have who are not familiar with what an academy is an academy is a learning platform uh, all you have just like YouTube you will get videos over there but on an academy you will get just educational videos so what you have to do you have to just download the an academy learning app from your play store and just uh, like follow me over there all right so let's uh, solve the question so we have this question in which uh, you have a compound like this and it is undergoing reaction with RH2 OAC whole 4 all right and it is acting as a catalyst now if you if you are watching me or if you are following me on an academy there have solved questions on your carbene chemistry and there have discussed that this catalyst is used for formation of your carbene from your if you have this compound that is car like double bond N2 if you have then it will get converted into carbene if you have this uh, if if you have this catalyst so what will happen in this reaction I'll just uh, quickly solve it over here. So we'll just draw the uh, compound. All right. So we have this compound which was which is given in the question, and in presence of this catalyst that is RH two O A C whole four, what will happen? This will this compound will this nitrogen gas will evolve, and you will get a carbene over here. So you will be getting. All right. So you will get a compound like this. So this is this is your carbene. Now we have ox oxygen is having lone pair of electron so what will happen it will donate a lone pair of electron to form a bond over here and the product what you will get will be somewhat like this. So you will get a positive charge on oxygen and a negative charge over here. Okay so this will be what you will get but in the product you will see that uh, the bond is not with oxygen it is somewhere here. So what will happen here now, now this bond will break this bond will break and I'll just number it like this since this bond is a sigma bond and this is getting broken so it's a sigma tropic reaction so we have to number it like this 1 2 and 3 and this will be numbered as 1 and 2 so what will happen now see this bond will break like this this bond will uh, this electrons will come here this bond will break like this and this bond will get formed over here so what the product what is the product which you will get it will be uh, like this okay so you will get a product like this because you will be getting uh, like this is 3 2 1 and the bond will be between uh, 2 and 1 so it will be like this so this is the product which you are which you can see in the 
question so what was the like what are the things which you should know to solve this question first of all you should know that like what this reagent will do this to this compound now if you understand that then what you have to do you just have to proceed with the further steps and here you have to just number out that which bond is getting broken and what will be the numbering and you can easily find out since the new bond is getting formed between 2 and 3 so that's why it is a 2 3 sigma tropic rearrangement so the correct option for this question will be option number 2 so see how simple the reaction is just by knowing few reagents and by numbering easily you can uh, uh, like you can score four marks so that's why i i used to tell that pericyclic reaction is a easy part of your organic chemistry let's try to solve few more questions which have been asked on this all right so let's take this question from csi june 2017 exam and this question was asked for two marks and okay so let's solve this so we have this reaction and we have to tell which of these following reaction it, it is undergoing we have ramberg backland reaction then sigma tropic 3 3 sigma tropic 2 3 sigma tropic or rea rearrangement so these two reaction i i know you people are not aware of and you don't have to be that aware because in this question these two are not undergoing that but like due to lack of time i'm not going to explain these two i'll just solve this question all right all right so we were having this compound and in the first step it was reacting with uh, it was reacting with this okay so what will happen the sulfur is having this lone pair of electrons so it will attack here this will go here and this iodine will come out and what you will get you will get something like like this so sulfur will be having positive charge because it has donated its lone pair of electron and how many carbon will be there one two and three so one two and three so one more will be there now now we have to uh, check that what will uh, like see one more thing will happen that you have tertiary butoxide also so what will this tertiary butoxide will do uh, sorry it will be you okay okay so this is your tertiary butoxide and what will it will do it will take out the acidic hydrogen from here and it will abstract it and what you will get you will get a carbon and and a group like this so you will be having positive charge and all right so yeah so you will get something like this now what will happen in the next step you have to see that in the in the question it has given that you are in the product you are you are having a eight membered ring like the product was something like this uh, you are having a eight membered ring along with your uh, sulfur and here you are having this group okay so what it will happen this negative charge uh, it will go and it will react so what you have to number it like this something like this see uh, this bond will break this one and you have to number it like this one and two and you have to number it like this one two and three so what will happen a new bond will be formed between this and this okay this will move here and this bond will move to the sulfur because sulfur has to gain its stability now how many membered ring you will get so you will get one two three four five six seven and eight membered ring so just form a eight membered ring i'll just number it in the blue colors so it will be one two three four five six uh, seventh and eighth so we'll be getting eight membered ring so eight membered ring just form a eight membered ring all right in which at the seventh place just write sulfur here so you'll be having one two three four five six and seven it's very important to keep numbering because you will not miss out anything all right now what what has happened uh, see at eighth position on the eighth carbon you are having this group attached that is this group so this is what your the product is about this is what you are getting in the product all right and yeah so this is what you are getting in the product so what kind of shift has been happened in this question so, so you can see that from two to three the bond has been formed between two and three so this is an example of your two three uh, sigma tropic sigma tropic reaction all right so it's what it was very simple you just have to look at the uh, reaction you just have to know about the reagents and the reaction how it has happened all right okay so one thing which i missed out over here is that uh, if you can see that this bond has shifted over here so the bond has shifted between uh, if in between of your two and three carbon so you will get a double bond over here all right so this will be the product which you will get in the uh, the end product which you got in the question so what you are getting as two three sigma tropic rearrangement 
and the correct option will be your two three sigma tropic reaction all right so in this way the question has to be done from your uh, sigma tropic reaction and due to the lack of time i am not taking much questions in this video because already the video is quite long and i'll be surely taking questions in my, on my own academy profile i'll be making a course where i'll be discussing about the questions of your uh, pericyclic reactions and there i'll be solving all the questions from your previous exam so if you are not following me yet on the academy just follow me over there for uh, more videos and more questions to be uh, like more solved questions okay so by now we have completed these three reactions uh, three three videos and three topics of your pericyclic reaction one was your electrocyclic reaction which we did earlier then the cycloaddition reaction and now today we have done this uh, sigma tropic reaction as well so these three reaction these three reactions or these three topics are the major portion of your pericyclic reaction and if you watch these three videos i hope one part of your like uh, csir net part like one portion of your syllabus is complete and you will be able to do question in the exam now one more thing which i want to add is that you cannot expect question from pericyclic reaction directly okay sometimes they may they might ask direct question but like generally they what do they do they ask you along with some reagent so you have to be like you should have some little knowledge of some reagents then only then only you will be able to do questions from this uh, pericyclic reaction all right and uh, so that's all for this video and if you haven't watched these two videos that is from your electrocyclic reaction and cycloaddition reaction uh, i i will give the link in the i button okay so just click on the i button and you will get the link about these two uh, these two reactions as well so that's all for this video i hope you people liked it and do subscribe the channel uh, this is very important okay so thank you for watching and have a great day and if you want to ask anything if you have any suggestions if you want to ask anything if you like if you have any doubt or suggestion you can ask in the comment section i really appreciate your comments your likes and uh, whatever the way you you show your love towards me I, i just appreciate them all so keep showing your love by your comments by your likes and by sharing the videos um, so that's all and thank you so much for watching have a great day bye bye